Okay, but what do I make? No, nope. Oh, god damn it. Maybe some other time. Huh, okay. Maybe I have something to talk about here. So I found this game on my recommendations tab. Sometimes it could give you a decent game to play. Sometimes. But hey, we have another Roblox fighter that manages to be unique and actually fun to play. Or to me, anyway. I haven't really played any other boxing game on here. If you don't know what Untitled Boxing Game is, it's probably an anime fighter? I can't really tell. That doesn't constantly ask for money and actually plays surprisingly well despite having really simple controls. I'll talk about why, but I really gotta point out how this game actively calls itself non-pay to win. And credit to where it's due. Yeah, it isn't pay to win. Kind of. I'll talk about that later. Before I actually talk about the combat itself, since that's the main bit and it's a boxing game, I obviously have to go over the combat, I should probably talk about some other stuff first. This game has fighting styles, which change up how your character boxes. Each style has an upside and a downside, so it really encourages you to find one that suits the way you play. Unfortunately, the styles are all locked behind a spinning system, which is the embodiment of those anime RPG family buffs, and it's honestly stupid. There's also probably a meta style somewhere, but I'm not really aware on which ones they are. I've only got a really small amount of actual playtime in public servers, so I've mostly experienced this game from a standpoint on where I've really only played with friends on privates. To be fair though, I actually did get on a public once, and I managed to get two people to rage quit. So, uh, that's cool. Thankfully, the game gives you plenty of spins, from daily login rewards to quests and some codes. There's also gloves you can get with the currency in the game, and they're unboxed from crates. And there's an extremely rare chance for you to get an unusual effect on them. Yeah, they're just cosmetics, I don't have much to say about those. Well, thank the devs for not adding a trading system yet. Oh god, if only there were a trading system. Oh boy, I can't wait to not play the video game and see nothing but traders on the f***ing public server. That's gonna be fun. Okay, post editing head here. Um, trading did eventually get added, alongside a Halloween case. Um, well shit. I guess that's my fault for having the script from a month ago and not editing this because I don't have the time to. Okay, let's actually talk about the combat. What? <laughs> I have to turn on my graphics though. Walter White surprise uh, 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 boss battle. Oh no, Walter White surprise boss battle. Here's what I don't like about the combat system. Yeah, that's literally it. The system in here feels extremely solid and hella satisfying to play in. Looking at this, it should be simple enough to understand. You have light punches for basic attacks and pressuring, heavy punches for slightly bigger damage and even better pressuring, blocking for defense, dashes for either dodging, getting close to confuse enemies, or whatever the hell this is, with Ghost. And an ultimate attack, which slowly charges up, and you can hit people with it and it does a ridiculous amount of damage. Let me break down some specifics here. Dashing at the right time allows you to outright dodge an attack and immediately allow a punish, even though it's super inconsistent, I'll explain later. If you manage to time a punch that's faster than your opponent's punch, it will be considered a counter, which does more damage. There's a stamina and a block meter to pay attention to while you are boxing. Your stamina is linked to everything excluding blocking, so you aren't allowed to just wail on enemies or dodge and unstop. Expanding on your stamina causes you to stop in place and temporarily be stunned. Blocking obviously makes you take only chip damage and doesn't cost stamina at all. There's a block meter that only goes down when you're being hit and slowly regenerates over time as long as you aren't being hit while blocking. While light attacks and ultimates do barely anything to your block meter, heavy attacks can put a serious dent, however. And the way that blocking works is honestly really clever, since you can start blocking after taking one or two initial hits. 
you are given a choice to either take the damage or to block and take less, potentially allowing your opponent to run out of stamina for wailing on you too much. So you can initiate a punish and you get to pressure them afterwards. But you can't block too much though. You'll get block broken and be stunned for a little bit more than a stamina break. Put all of that together with really well made animations, mild but still noticeable screen shake, and a usually smooth experience if you aren't recording with a screen capturing software like I am, then you get an absolute blast of a fighting game that isn't trying to pry open your wallet. Speaking of wallets and money, let's talk game passes. Yeah, it's generous, most of the time. Let's be frank, style storing shouldn't be locked behind a game pass. I have a very odd feeling that this slot here should be free while these other two are paid. And I'll be honest, this is really the only big issue I have with this game. Excluding the horrible nutcode. While I am talking about that, you can snap to places, player sliding, input delay, general frame drops, the dash being super inconsistent. It's not the dev's fault, obviously. Muratao Roblox can somehow make giant pink spikes and horrible amounts of latency. Doesn't help that the game isn't optimized as well as I thought it would. Obviously, it wouldn't be the same level as Bloxen, but I expected it to be a little bit better to cover Roblox's netcode bullshit. So what do I think of Untitled Boxing Game overall? Well, it's fun. Yeah, that's about it. It's really fun. Just play it if you want a fighting game that isn't horribly imbalanced or just really money hungry. The only real issues I have is this and just generally as to how boring it can get if you play it for too long. So, yeah. I just realized I haven't written an outro in the script. F Oh, right, before I forget, um, spooky month. Yippee! <laughs>